So Herbsloft is a manual tiling window manager which does provide some basic layouts. For example, if you have the vertical layout, the horizontal layout, the grid layout and the maximized layout which some window managers like to call is the monocle layout and with tabs you can call it i3's tabbed layout as well. But since it's a manual tiling window manager, it is not limited to these kind of layouts only and you can have whatever kind of layout you want. All you have to do is uh, split your frames in such a fashion. For example, if you want to implement the BSPWM style layout, all you have to do is just split your frames like this and uh, open your clients in these kind of layout. And if you have this rule in your config file, then whatever new client you open, it will, it will always uh, open in an empty frame that is already ex existing. So if I spawn new clients, it will out of it in these frames. And uh, I, I can also save this layout with the help of hc dump command and uh, I can load it back with the help of hc load. But this can be very limiting because this will only surely uh, restore the frames and might not be able to restore the clients because, because these clients are actually dependent on the client IDs which tend to change if you close and uh, reopen the windows or over restarts. That's why they are not very persistent. But you can fix this problem with the help of um, manually tinkering with the layout and uh, fitting all the current client IDs in this kind of layout. All you have to do is get the list of clients and which are in the tiling mode with the help of this command and somehow fit these old client IDs and replace them with the new client IDs. And then you can uh, restore the exact layout. Um, but most probably if you want to implement a new kind of layout in your Hubsoft uh, or in whatever window manager then it must be following a kind of pattern which means that which means that it should be able to handle whatever number of window you give it to uh, this layout so one window two window or 100 window it doesn't matter it should follow a pattern for example the bspwm style follows a pattern and whatever number of windows you give it will handle it and uh, with the help of this you can create a script and that's what I did because I am free, I have very free time so what it's called is static FIBO um, so it does the same thing, it gets, gets all the client IDs and uh, I know what kind of pattern the BSWM style follows so I will generate the layout by myself and fit these client IDs into this layout and at last and at last load it up so if I have some clients and uh, I do run this layout uh, if I do run this script then it will auto arrange these clients into a Fibonacci style layout so something like this and uh, similarly I also created uh, for master stack as well so let me show you master stack so not this one the static one this one so so if I run this, it will auto arrange all the clients into a master stack fashion, something like this. Okay, but this is a very manual behavior. Uh, but if you don't want any kind of intervention from you, what you, but if you don't want to press any key binds for it to happen, something like a dynamic tiling window manager do automatically, and that's where hooks comes in. With the help of hooks, you can subscribe to events that are happening in your window manager or your hubslot session. And you can do that with the help of hc watch command. For example, I want to change, I want to watch the client count uh, change in my uh, second tag. So I can do that. So whenever the client uh, count is changed, it should emit a hook. And I can see that hook with the help of hc dash dash idle. So if I spawn a new client in this tag, it should trigger a hook. So I spawned a client. And you can see that it does trigger a hook. Uh, it says from five to six client count change. And if I do remove a client, it should also trigger event again. See six to five again closing the closing a client. Five to four closing client. Four to three. And I should be able to uh, use this uh, triggered event uh, to run some command. And uh, you can do that as well. So I took inspiration from this script called last tag which is in the which is in the default hubsloft example scripts and uh, it does the same thing it it watches the tag changed and it records the previous tag 
and if i do emit a hook that is this one uh, it goes to the previous tag now this is a custom hook you can emit a custom hook with the help of emit hook and it will uh, emit a hook uh, let me show you dash dash idle and if i do emit this hook uh, it will show up here so i can record that as well so whenever i do emit this hook i will be switching to the previous tag and which means that this command will be run so yeah i took inspiration from this script and uh, created two dynamic scripts that follows the fibonacci style layout this one um, you can see it if you want to uh, okay so this is already running in the first tag by the way so if i open some clients in this tag it will auto follow the bsvwm style layout it does not require me require my intervention um, and when it, it does not also care which frame I have, I have focus on so even if i have focus in this frame it will open the new client in the last frame here and it also maintains the ratio closing this or opening it will also maintain the ratio and similarly i also have this master and stack dynamic layout which is running in the fourth tag so whatever client i open it will open in a master stack fashion something like this <coughs> and with the help of custom hooks i also implemented the swap behavior so if i do ranger and edge stop um, what i will do is i will emit a custom hook which says swap tag uh, with the help of this key mode for control and s so if i do if i do mode for control s it will swap uh, to the master client okay and uh, again if i do this here it will swap between the master and the current client the focused client so so this is how you can implement uh, these kinds of layout dynamically which does not require your intervention and if you want to you can tinker with it a little more and implement the same layout in all of the tags if you want to i don't want it but you can so now you know that hopstock is really powerful and uh, it can uh, do a lot of stuff with the help of hooks so that's it for the video thanks for watching peace